friends. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you know, hey, it's just what I say. You know, have you ever heard of Doris Day? Or maybe you would like to eat some hay. <laughs> Mr. Warren, please focus. Yeah, this is another math video. I'll do my best to focus. It's not easy for me, but I will try. Whoa, it's another algebra lesson. 1.4. Ooh, yeah. Big old block sitting there in front of us, too. Looks like we're going to be using some base 10 blocks today. Let's go ahead and look at our topic. Our topic says, powers of 10 and exponents. Okay, maybe not quite like that, but that's basically our topic. Powers of 10 and exponents, our essential question. This is our objective. This is our learning target. This is our, okay, all that good stuff. It's letting us know what we're going to learn about today. And it says that how can you use an exponent to show powers of 10? Oh, this is going to be so much fun. But you know how it is. We can't do any of this, right? Unless we, that's right, unlock the problem. That's right. We need to unlock the problem, but it's not a real problem, real world problem, baby. No. Okay. We lost our, it's a real world problem, baby. It's not in there. Anyway. Let's get started here. It says expressions with repeated factors, such as 10 times 10 times 10, can be written by using a base with an exponent. Okay, I'll see what that means. The base is the number that is used as the repeated factor. The exponent is the number that tells how many times the base is used as a factor. I get it. Base and exponent. Okay. Well, the base, like a base of a building, is the part on the bottom. So that makes it easy to for me to remember that base is something that holds something up. So the base is holding up the exponent. So let's look at our example. We have three factors. 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to, yeah, there you go. It's pointing to the base, which is 10. The exponent up above is equal to 1,000. Okay. Ah, so the key thing, though, is, is that the exponent tells the factors how many times it's going to multiply itself, not 10 times 3. Lots of students will look at that 10 raised to the third power, and then they'll write the answer down 30. Yeah, it does not mean 10 times 3. It means 10 times 10 times 10. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Now we have the word form, the third power of 10. We just talked about that. Raised to the third power, third power of 10. Okay, exponent form, yes, 10 raised to the third power. That's how I typically say it. Activity it says use base 10 blocks. Cool. Materials, base 10 blocks. Okay, I don't have any, but I'll see what I can do. What is 10 times 1,000 written with an exponent? It says use a T for 1,000. Okay, so since it's 10 times, I'm going to want to put a T, and I don't know, I need to put it in a box. So there's two. I need 10 of these. I guess it's a way of modeling my problem. Okay, when I have two, four, six, eight, I need two more because each one of these boxes with a T represents 1,000. Okay, and here's just showing me the different, ah, so here I have, yeah, one, and that's just one, and that's, look at that, 10 raised to the zero power. In fact, any number raised to the zero power is always equal to one. That's just kind of the rule there. There's an explanation why that's the case, but trust me, in fifth grade, you don't want to know it. It just it's really confusing. You don't need to. Just know that. And then here we have our 10 ones, which is uh, our, what do they call that? The long, I think they call it. And then that's 10 raised to the first power, 1 times 10. Now we have, notice I always put the 1 in there. They're just showing you one of those. So 10 times 10 is 100 ones. So that's called the flat, 10 raised to the second power. And then we already looked at that one. How many ones are in 1? 1. <laughs> How many ones are in 10? 10. How many uh, tens are in a hundred? Ooh, they're trying to trick us now. There's only 10 because aren't there 10 longs? If we have one 10 here, there would be 10 of those in 100. Oh, think 10 groups are 10 or 10 times 10. That was the key right there, 10 groups. How many hundreds are in 1,000? 10 groups of 100, 10, eh? So they're trying to get you to see, whoa, it's like that last video that we did when we were moving from place value to place value times 10 times 10, when we move from the 1,000, is 10 times greater than the 100, 110 times greater than the uh, 10, and so forth. How many thousands are in 10,000? 10. So I guess we were doing that to show what? Okay, 10,000 ones. So we have one, okay, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 raised to the fourth power. And another way, an easy way, is if I, if you just look at the zeros, because each one of those zeros represents a power of 10, right? Power of 10, I think of times 10. Always remember that it's, when we're dealing with these numbers, it's always about multiplying. So you have four zeros, you've got your four as your exponent. And that's how that works. Yeah. In the box to the right, draw a quick picture to show, oh, yeah, I did that first, didn't I? Oops, uh, I did do it. 
to show 10,000. So 10 times 1 is 10 raised to the fourth power. So 10,000 is 10 times 1,000. Yeah, it's 10,000, 10 to the fourth power. Okay, I had to double check my work. Woohoo! Yes, let's move on. Okay, cool. Now we get our real world problem. It's a hummingbird. Hummingbirds beat their wings very fast. The smaller the hummingbird is, the faster its wings beat. I did not know that. The average hummingbird beats its wings about 3 times 10 raised to the third power. How many times a minute is that written as a whole number? Multiply 3 by powers of 10. Look for a pattern. So here we have we have 3 times 10 raised to the 0 power. That just equals 3 times 1. That's 3. Fair enough. 3 times 10 to the first power is just simply 3 times 10. So we end up with 30. You can already see a pattern here, huh? Yeah, 10 times greater. And then 3 times 10 raised to the second power is 3 times 10 times 10, which in this case is going to be 300. Because when I look at this, I just see, yeah, that's 100. So that makes it easy to do mental math. And of course, here we have 3 times 10 raised to the third power, which is 3 times 10 times 10 times 10. Again, what do we have here? We just have 1,000. So we're going to end up with 3,000. And every one of those, look at that, was 10 times greater. It's an important fact to know in math, especially in fifth grade, is that's what happens with our place value. So the average hummingbird beats its wings about, now we know by the third power, 3,000 times a minute. Wow, that's pretty incredible, isn't it? Wow, pretty amazing. Mathematical practice seven, look for a pattern. What pattern do you see? Oh, okay, and I'm assuming that they're referring to the problem up above, the pattern. Uh, there's different things you could write. You could write a uh, one pattern. One pattern I see is every time you multiply by a power of 10, it increases the exponent by one. Okay, I mean, that's one pattern, definitely. The same thing too, you know, if you look at the zeros, I'm not going to write this down, but the three zeros up here, you know, that's what I mean. It matches your exponent. So if you have 3,000, that's 10 raised to third power. That makes it pretty easy to see. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, share and show. Here we go. Write in exponent form and word form. Okay, I have 10 times 10. Okay, exponent form, that's 10 raised to the second power because that is 10 times 10. The base is 10 and I have 2. Word form, 10 raised to the second power. 10 raised to the second power. Okay, and then over here we have 10. Oh, we have four of them. So that's easy, 10 raised to the fourth power. Not only do we have four zeros, but we have the base. So there's, the base is 10. We have four of them. That's the same thing. Word form would be the way they did over here, I think. Wasn't it like the fourth power of 10? I mean, that's how they worded it. Uh, on the front page, the fourth power of 10, uh, we tend to say, I don't know, in all my classes I've taken math, it's always 10 to the fourth power or 10 raised to the fourth power. The fourth power of 10, I think, is probably just so you understand what's happening. Find the value. Okay. 100, that was easy, right? Because that's equal to 10 times 10. There's two powers of 10. The base is 10, and I have 2. 4 times 10 seconds, so now I have 100. So this is really equal to 4 times 100 because I have 2. So that's just going to be equal to 400. And then finally, over here, what do we have here? Ooh, we have 1,000. So I have 7 times 1,000 because I have the base is 10. So I have to multiply the base by itself three times. Just want to make sure that you see that. So it equals a 7,000. Yeah. Woohoo. And is that it? That was it? That's the end of the video? Oh my goodness. That just flew by. Poof. Poof. It's like, who was that? Was it a plane? No, it was underdog. No, it's, it's went that fast. Anyway, my friends, hey, you know I hear that one. Music in the background. It's time to go. Time to say goodbye. It's been real, guys. It's been real fun. Now, live long and prosper. Thank you.